Hey guys, so today I have some of the 1980s Hasbro Softies uh, brand Wuzzles. So this was actually also Disney. They put together like a Saturday morning cartoon with these cute little animal mixes. So this is Ellaroo, part kangaroo, part elephant. Um, there's some fun characters, but you know, we like to take care of our plushies and keep them clean, so over the years, these guys have probably gone through a washer and dryer cycle, which in itself isn't necessarily a bad thing, but when they go through the dryer on anything but a uh, medium to low heat, this is what happens. The fur gets stuck down and matted and it gets frizzy, so we want to fix that today. Um, so I'm going to walk you through really quick the tools that I use and then I'll get started so we can get them looking like they did when they were new so here we go uh, basically to get through and brush the hair you're gonna have a pet slicker brush. Uh, I like to use the smaller cat one, it just fits a little bit better into some of their smaller spaces. And then a metal comb. This will just help if I come into any uh, knots that don't really want to come out. Uh, it just helps separate the hair a little bit faster than, than these. This is good if there isn't a really big knot in there. The next thing you'll need if you're gonna be fixing matted frizzy hair is water and heat. So I actually do have a tiny bit of conditioner but the rest is all water in this bottle. And then I use a flat iron. This is my Conair flat iron set on a one. Uh, it should be around 200 to 250 degrees. Some of you are going to be a little luckier in having the temperature right on your flat iron which is great. Uh, I highly recommend it if you're not sure and you want to know what it's set at. Um, Anyway, so always use plenty of water and then use your heat. All right, well, let's get started and get these guys looking like new again. So basically what I've done here is this is kind of a very fine, fuzzy, velour type velvety fabric and it is holding on to all these little bits of lint. So what I did is I like using this flat edge of my scissors to help kind of, it gets it unstuck so you can see it start to kind of grab and pull all that linty mess out of there.
guys, that just about does it. I will let these guys sit and dry, and then I will run the slicker brush back through these bits that were wet so that they're all fluffy again. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video today and learning how to get rid of that matted, frizzy hair on your plushies. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so I can see you guys the next time. All right, everyone. Bye.